Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your HTC One into a baby monitor with the app Munchkin Monitor. Now what it does is it turns one of your devices into a webcam that could cast a live video stream onto the Munchkin Monitor server and that could be accessed either by another Android device running the app or by using their web-based monitoring system. So to get started, open up the Play Store, search for Munchkin Monitor and download it. And after you have it downloaded, open it up. And pretty much what you're gonna do is on the first device, that one is gonna be the device that monitors your baby. So the front or back facing camera can be used to watch over the crib or wherever your baby sleeps. So to get that started, if you tap this is device one, and you're gonna be able to enter a device name, and you're gonna see the device code, and that you're gonna input in your second device in order to connect to it. Alright, so for this demo, I have my second device be my OnePlus One. So on this one, I'm going to tap this is device number two. And you'll see here that I can input my device name as well. And then you can enter your code at the bottom. Tap connect. And then on your main device, it'll ask you if you want to allow the connection. So just allow that. Okay, so now they're linked. And you could put your first device to be the Munchkin Station. And that's the one that's going to monitor your baby. You can see here that it's already reading the live camera and keeping track of the noise. And then the second device would be your parent station. And that one will get notified if your baby's crying. Right now it's picking up my voice as a baby's cry. And that's why it's notifying my parent station device that the baby's crying and it's awake so you have to go check on it. Munchkin Monitor also comes with a web-based monitoring system so you can access it from any device that has internet access and has your web browser all you need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google Plus credentials or you could also start a guest session and then you could change the name as well and do the same thing that you would as a normal parent station. There's more settings for both the Munchkin station and the parent station. For the Munchkin station you could choose to keep your device awake so that you don't lose Wi-Fi connection and you could also set it so that a password is required in order to connect a parent station device to it. You could also change the microphone sensitivity in order to um, be better suited for your baby for their noise level. And as far as the parent station goes, you could change the notification repeat if you get constant notifications for your baby crying. You could also change the microphone sensitivity as well. All right, so now that you have your settings all done, you can go ahead and move between the front and rear facing camera, enable flash from the back, um, enable autofocus as well or just exit out of the feed completely so that you just see the monitoring screen without the live feed as well. Alright guys, you're going to do it for Munchkin Monitor. Be sure to check out the full guide linked in the description below and like always be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one guys.